is a good question. Maybe, eh, maybe some technology where I can like add an Xbox there so we could play whenever we want or on special events. For me, uh, an ideal school is something more than just a modern building filled to the brim with expensive equipment and sophisticated uh, interior. I would like there was a little bit of stairs because I get tired of walking. Maybe an elevator. <laughs> it is a mentality, I would say. It is a concept. It is a place where each and every individual student matters. Lego shop downstairs. And also, I'll have a school shop. It's for that days when you don't have a pen, a pencil, a rubber, a ruler, or, or other school things. There's a place where, depending on what they like, depending on their preferences, they can choose what they would like to study in the near future. I think that type of a uh, of a concept prove, has proven itself to be the most efficient because then you can see that students are in fact interested in what they are doing. So we have more room to do um, like some project. What kind of project? The science one that we're doing. Mm, I'm doing the Viking one. What kind of science project do you have? Age two times in a week sushi. Yes, and everything else will be like in this school. I very like this school. And if we want to see ourselves and our kids succeed in education and learning in life in general, that's the future that we should strive towards. Well, for me, an ideal graduate is someone whom I will miss when they leave school, but someone who I will be pleased to see leave school. It's important that the st a student comes into the school and is respectful of their, f their, pupil their f um, fellow pupils, that they're respectful of the school and of their teachers, and that when they leave the school, they are respected by the school. An ideal school leaver applies knowledge and skills to familiar and unfamiliar situations. An ideal school leaver uses theoretical and practical reasoning to solve problems. Develop their skills, develop their knowledge, but leave happy and successful. And I think if we can do that, then I think we've achieved our aim to actually get the student to enjoy the and have a meaningful experience in school. I will be sorry to see them go, but I'll be pleased to see them go because I know they'll be ready to leave. They will have spent time here, they will have grown, they will have matured, they will have become independent in the way that they think, in the way that they act, and that they'll be ready to take the next step. An ideal school leaver can use imagination and creativity to innovate. An ideal school leaver is empathetic to the human condition. And an ideal school leaver has the freedom to explore new ideas and understands the responsibility that goes with making informed choices. My philosophy is that, you know, that the, 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 ch the child, it's about the child. Yes. It's about the, developing the child as a child and seeing how they fit into the school and how they actually, what they can offer to the school but what, you know, not only what the school offers them, but what they can actually offer to the school. So that's also important. And for me, an ideal graduate is someone who's already started to have and is on the way to having a healthy, happy and future, uh, and secure future. That for me is an ideal graduate.